Hello and welcome. In this video I am showcasing the Vogue Runtec BTC 550 90 remote control lawnmower. I purchased this from Vogue Runtec in China having failed to purchase a similar mower from a Chinese online site. I ran into trouble with the definition of free delivery. Um, I expect free delivery to be to the door and the seller was down to do free delivery to the port. And then after that um, some bogus tracking information appeared which made me terminate the sale from that website. So I went and did my homework and I found Vogo Run Tech after searching for remote control or mowers and um, 550. I had a good look at the website, I had a good look at the YouTube videos, and it seemed to me the more that I looked into it, the more and more it seemed to be the real deal of a company trying to sell lawn mowers. So, in the end, I took what I thought was a punt, which I now know was just a normal purchase, and uh, I purchased the mower and the lady who sold it to me kept me informed of what was going on and made it very easy to purchase it and had the mower shipped to the port of my choice so it, the mower still had to be shipped to a port but I wasn't being deceived and being told it was going to come to my house and I was strongly advised to use a freight forwarder, so I used main freight. Once again, phenomenal customer service, they kept me informed. Um, I asked them how much to get the mower from, the, from Auckland Port to the local branch near me, and they came back with a very good price, so I had to do that. And all I had to do was turn up with my trailer, and they uh, put the box containing the mower on the trailer for me and I brought it home. Just a few notes on my personal experience. Um, it's a very powerful machine. It's got two walking speeds, fast and slow, and then it also responds to the uh, control lever. I use it to cut, as you can see here, thick grass. This grass has not been cut for 18 months. It was on wet ground. With, the, with this thickness of grass um, I was on full height with the cutting head and I just put it on crawl although it did stall out occasionally um, it didn't stall out that often at all probably over the period of half an hour I probably managed to stall it on some thick stuff or nasty undergrowth or a bit of wood that I hadn't seen probably twice I had some fun with the throttle either I think I left it in a bit too much choke. I was also quite rough with it to start with, um, either through inexperience or just um, a bit of sort of boys' toy madness. I managed to run it into a tree and break one of the lights. And since then, I've, I think I ran it into to a fence post and managed to catch the other one. Um, if you're not going to use the lights, then take them off. If you are going to use the lights, then drive carefully. You can get some spare lights from Vigo Run Tech. You can get other spares. I, I wish I'd gotten um, some spare walker motors and actuators when I purchased the mower. I'm going to wear things out, unlike any machine that's going to need some repair. Uh, all in all, I really, I really enjoy using the machine. It's, it's, it's really nice to mow with. In order to just keep marrying effectively and and going and not leaving patches of grass between each cut, now you need to be reasonably close to the machine. Um, do be aware that it does weigh over 100 kg, and if you're on a very steep slope or if you think there's a risk of that machine tipping over or coming down towards you, then don't be in its way. You won't win, and I think some people have unfortunately been injured with slope mowers that uh, they've lost control of or that have come down and, and tried to get them. There's a, 
great human instinct that we that we, 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 we learn to fight against as you get older is that you think that you can catch and stop things like cars and boats and and, and unwieldy lawnmowers and then what you need to do is actually keep yourself safe and just step out step out the way and watch it go by the remote control takes a little bit of getting used to initially it's um, the the button for switching between crawl and um, walk is in the top side corner on the outer edge and you can get this mixed up with the one that's just above the forward and backwards controller which is the deck higher and lower so you can end up in a situation where you're lowering the deck instead of dropping to crawl um, which is a bit detriment because the uh, motor cuts out as you uh, try and cut too, too deep a grass or start sculpting the ground and this goes away as you get used to the remote and also if you are going to have it in crawl then just put it in crawl and leave it in crawl there's no great advantage flicking between crawl and walk if you're on grass that needs to be in the crawl setting and you just need to um, take your time and be okay with that as I say this, uh, this grass that I was cutting hadn't been cut for 18 months it's winter in New Zealand and it's wet ground so Asking a lot of any machine, and this machine certainly didn't disappoint. And one of the pieces of feedback that I sent back to Vigo and Tech is that the throttle either needs to be inside the body of the machine. If you go under a bush, it can interfere with the lever. Um, you can hear it happen. Either it pushes it into the choke position, and you can hear the the change in the engine or it pushes it so that it goes down to low idle and it either stalls or, um, or you can just hear it drop off um, either way you can turn the, the engine on and off at the remote so you just turn it off and bring the machine back to yourself and start it up again with the throttle in the right position Vigo Run Tech's website B-I-G-O-R-U-N dot C-N um, It's got lots of um, helpful videos on there and you can also find them on YouTube on how to use the machine and how to drive it with the remote Anyway, I'm going to leave you with, uh, with the Maui and uh, hope you enjoy it Thanks for watching